I got you. <sighs> All of these impulses, the yeah, about to jump, the heart drawing up into the throat, the almost dance, the almost softening. All of those on the verge. I just want to send love. I wanted to send love for the directness, the truth, the impulse to connect, the impulse to go, just to emit, to point something out, to connect, to punch, to kiss, to hug, to lose oneself, to not know, to find oneself again after doing. Really hoping that we can all just allow to accept the unacceptable, to learn through the yet to be trodden, to stand on our own toes as we dance alone. I just want to say I got you. Love you. We are tumbleweeds sprawling out across the globe, and yet we're not alone. So I want to send love to those who are restrained or are in a cardboard box, not a steel box, but we're in cardboard boxes of acceptable behavior. And too often there's a dissonance, there's this heart-wrenching collision with the energetic body or the intentional body or the vision, the <clears throat> projection that we feel would be so alive. There's a distance between that and what we are also projecting needs to be adhered to. And when those two clash, you know, that beautiful feeling of flow, of openness, of yes, of go, when that clashes with the obedience or discipline or even responsibility and good behavior and respect, you know, it, it can have good words as well, like respect. When those two clash, we are in this dissonance, in this sickness, and we are in this place within our own bodies that just feels like, oh, it can't settle, it can't fully flow, and so we restrict, and we're such martyrs. We are masochists in many ways, where we will suffer in order to not offend people, not to, to not impinge, to not impact, to not to rock the boat, to not to stabilize, to bring wellness and harmony. So I understand it's not through just weakness and fear and cowardice that we maintain and sustain these, you know, artificially imposed or self-imposed restrictions or, or shapes, structures, forms that don't agree with our true nature or, or should we say wild nature, uninhibited nature, unthinking nature. So I get it. I get it. I get it. But find a place maybe where you won't dent, scratch, bruise another. Maybe it's in the woods, in the forest, or in your bedroom alone, or travel where no one knows you, or go out deep into the ocean. And do it. Unleash it. Say those things. Dance those moves. Feel it flush until you're out of breath. And then when your body is fully heaving in that state, sit in stillness into a state of deep listening and allow it to circulate, allow it to move through your body, to dissipate, to reinvigorate, to nourish and cleanse. And know yourself through that. I got you. I got your back. I got your ground. I got your sky. And yet I don't hold you at all because we are adrift in this amazing ecosystem, in this planet, in this galaxy with no up or down. Man, it's chaos. It's a swirling spiral rocket ride. But I got you, I see you, I love you, and I hold and accept the unacceptable. I got you, man. <laughs>